Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2021 where last time out we bought ourselves an awful lot of new farm equipment. Here it all is and it looks wonderful, it looks very very good indeed. There's all sorts of different bits of shiny exciting new hardware all doing lots of very important very different jobs. Also we can work on the big fields over here in the big fields bit of the farm. Now all this stuff didn't come cheap, it was quite costly to get all of this equipment in but money is not really an issue anymore because we make so much money. Our farm is doing very, very well for itself indeed. If we look up here, you'll notice that we are just short of 15 million farm manager monies. That's silly money. That is very silly money indeed. So yes, all this stuff was very costly indeed, but in the grand scheme of things, it did not really make that much of a dent in the bank balance. So yes, money is looking good. Loads of shiny new farm equipment as well, all looking very nice indeed. Also last time, we got ourselves a few cows. They're over here on the cow bit of the farm. Now we didn't get as many cows as we wanted to, but that was due to staffing issues. We sorted that out, it was all good. The cows over here are now being looked after and cared for properly, which is marvelous. However, you may notice a more immediate problem over here in the cow bit of the farm. And also the same problem is over here in this sort of fish bit of the farm. And the problem is that apparently all of these buildings over here and these ones over here have no power, which is a bit of a surprise because when we left off last time, everything had power. This was all fine, it was all sorted. So I'm assuming that the most recent update of the game has changed something or other. I don't quite know what's going on here. So I think we need to kind of fix this as a matter of urgency. This seems quite a, this seems quite a big problem that we need to fix sort of right now. So let's have a little look. What is going on? Why is there no power over this side of the farm? And it's kind of coming down here as well. It's affecting our, oh no, it's affecting the carrot juice fat and the sunflower oil fat. Oh, that's no good at all. We want our FAS to be working at maximum capacity. So yeah, okay, that's not good at all. So what exactly is going on? What is going on here? So we have ourselves the power lines coming over. So there should be power. As far as I can see, there are power lines going along here. That is one of the electrical transformers by the look of it. That's one of the transformers because they have the great big kind of box thing on them. The regular lines do not, I believe. So that's a regular line and that's one of the transformers. But for whatever reason, that doesn't have that doesn't have power. So what is going on here, game? What have you been up to? Hang on, let's click that one. So electrical transformers, so we can see where the transformers are placed because they have that radius, that sort of area of effect. So what exactly is going on? Why are these ones down here just not working? Do we just need to reconnect them somehow? Hang on a minute, hang on. Let's try something very basic. So let's click on this, click on that with a regular power line and then just connect it to that. I mean, there is already a line, but we'll put another one in just to see if that fixes things. And it has. Okay, that's a bit weird. Maybe that line was broken or something. I don't really know. Okay, and then it looks like possibly. Okay, is this the problem? Is this the problem just here? This thing here has gone a little bit strange. I think we need to do the same again. Electric pole from there to there. So it should, it's already connected. We can see very clearly there are there are lines connecting those, but if we do it again, it will put a kind of, uh, whatever that is, one of the electrical sort of post things in front of the door of this fishery place. Let's not have that, let's, let's do this properly. Let's put one there and then connect. That's not where I said I wanted it to go, game. Okay? <laughs> I wanted it to go over there on that side of the road. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not having that game. Away with that. Can we put it where I asked for it to go? Click there. I would like it to go just there, game. Right, okay, farm manager is having a bit of a turn. It's okay, we'll, we'll make this work, it's all good. Right, then it can go there, if it allows us to do that, and then it can go across the way. Maybe they've changed how these work. They seem to be going into more of a grid system now. They kind of snap to the corners by the look of it, rather than just being placed anywhere. Okay, that's interesting. Now, has that fixed the power problem? I think it has. Yes. Okay, right, so I think placing down electricity things might be slightly more fiddly than it used to be, but okay, that's fine. Is everything back up and running? Are things moving through the carrot juice fat? Yes, they are. Boxes of carrot juice now flying through. Okay, wonderful stuff. Everything over here is working. Nobody's complaining and we have no warnings over here. Okay, well that was a little bit strange, but right you are game. There we go, all sorted. Right, how about we get some more people over here to work with the cows. Because as it stands, we built, what, how many did we have? Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of the big, sort of the big cow sheds, and only three are in use right now. And that's mainly just due to staff. That's mainly just due to trying to find people that can actually work with the cows and the animals. So this one is full, isn't it? 
That house there is full. So let's go to this house. Let's hire some people that are good at working with animals. And there's one person who's good. I mean, I say he's good at working with animals. He has a vague concept of what animals are. He's not very good at working with them. I mean, that's, that's no skill at all. That's no skill at all at working with animals. But okay, fine. We'll have you, Archie Scott, in you come. We'll train you up. There we go. Just fill your head with knowledge of animals. I think, actually, wasn't one of these lacking a person anyway? Yeah, lacking a person. So there you go. So I think these three buildings now are fully staffed. There we go. Wonderful stuff. So now we just need to get three more people in. I don't suppose the thing has refreshed itself. Nope, not at all. Okay, <laughs> never mind. However, what we could do is we could hire some more people to go over here. Now, a few people in the comments have said that we should get some, um, some of the seasonal workers over here as well. That would be good. The only thing is I'm not entirely sure where we can where we can fit a seasonal worker house unless we get rid of that manure storage thing. We could get rid of that. That would be okay, I think. I don't think that would be too much of a problem. So get rid of this, put in a seasonal worker house if it fits. Hang on, shall we check? Maybe we should check first when we go ahead and dive in. Ah, maybe that is not going to fit. I don't think that's going to fit because that takes up a certain... Hang on. Hang on. Uh, warehouses and that. No, that does fit exactly into that space. It doesn't overlap into that square to the right. So it looks like there are three squares. There are three spaces. We might be okay. We might just be okay. Okay, right. Away with you then, manure storage. Farewell. We'll put you back in if we have to. I mean, yes, we've got a little bit of money to spend. And then let's get that in. Rotate. Yes. House for seasonal employees. In it goes. And then over here we have a normal house for permanent employees. Is anybody good at plants? There must be some people that are good at plants. Plants and machines. Oh, Thomas Lane. In you come. Plants and endurance. Yes, very good. And nobody else good at plants. You would like to think that when we actually, you know, go out for potential employees, we'd ask them, given that we're working on a farm, we'd ask them if they're good at working with animals or plants. They're kind of two key elements of a farm, really, I would say. Dealing with animals and dealing with things that grow out of the ground are quite important sort of, you know, things to be aware of when you want to work on a farm. Um, beekeeping and orchards. Yeah, okay, they're, they're good things, but that's not what we want right now. Okay, never mind, never mind. Right, so we'll get your plants and your machines up as well. And you can be good at endurance and you can be good at plants. Okay, lovely. So we are getting some more people over here. Let's move time on a little bit quicker. Just get this thing in and then we'll set this up. And hopefully some people can come over here and just help out a little bit. They can move some, move some goods around or whatever. So hang on a second. That's absolutely fine. In fact, um, do you want them to come in a little bit? They can finish a bit earlier, possibly. Let's just have them finishing in December. There you go. Finish right at the end. No, not there. Hang on. 30. There. So finish at the end of November. That's fine. And okay, so you can get paid a little bit more. There we go. And you can work a bit less. I didn't realize what this was. I was not aware of what this was. That's how much they get paid per month. This is how many hours they work per month. So let's reduce that down a little bit and they will be a little bit happier, which is wonderful. There you go, 135 hours per month, please. And then we'll go over here as well because uh, a few people in the comments said that we upped this rather than lowered it. So yeah, people are overworked a little bit. So we'll drop that down to 135 hours. There you go, everybody. Get some time off. That's all very lovely. Oh, actually, has that weird... Um, has that weird debuff thing gone from some people over here who are complaining about trash pile? Yeah, so they've got this negative sort of uh, this negative happiness modifier because they're hanging around near a trash pile. It was minus 30%, now it's only minus 16%. And we were speculating that maybe it was something to do with all of the old broken farm bits over here that we have since dismantled. But um, no, a few people in the comments said that it's probably just a load of stuff in their house. The house is just untidy. It's just a great big, yeah, you know, it's a great big mess inside there. Outside, it looks lovely. It looks lovely and quaint. Inside, it's full of pizza boxes, just, you know, litter, rubbish, discarded cans, all that kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe they're slowly clearing that up because, yeah, quite a lot of people seem a bit grumpy with this. Quite a lot of people are not happy with that. Okay, never mind. Right, here we go. And we've got seasonal workers coming in. We have seasonal workers coming in already. Alex, Ali, hello, Alex, how are you? This is all very good. Some little trucks are driving around, which is brilliant. I do like the little trucks. <laughs> this is all very good. Right, okay. K 
can we get any more people in over here because it looks like something just happened so do we have any more people that can work with animals just the one brilliant okay we'll employ you you can go and work in this place here so let us buy a big load of cows organic tick 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 and that can be that can be grace johnston and we need to just level you up a little bit there you go grace right so now she can go and work in there we do need some more people we need quite a lot of people that are good at working with animals. This could take ages. This could take absolutely ages to get sorted. They're very slow at coming in. But uh, there we go. There are the animals. So the cows are in. Hello, cows. It's a miserable, miserable day. Okay, so right. Have we got any more people? Come on, we must have some more people that are good at working with animals. Can we go out specifically and ask for people that are good at working with animals? Finally. Finally. Ellis Perry, William Marshall, Faith Moss. Yes, animals, animals, animals. You're quite expensive, Ellis Parry. You're quite costly. We've, we're, we're a multimillionaire. It's fine. I think we'll muddle through. There we go. Lovely. Ah, and somebody over there is good at working with plants. Oh, we upgraded your manufacturing skills. Do you know what? It's fine. That's fine. We're a multi-opportunities employer. It's all good. Um, you can be good at that as well. Why not? We should maximise everybody, really, for everything. There you go. Animals, animals. So this place here, we can now have you and you say... And that means that we can open up another one of these, which is all very exciting. So more cows, all of the cows, organic food, tick all that stuff. And you can have, what was she called? Faith Moss. So you can go and work over there, which is all very good. And then I think there were some more people who were good at working with plants, which is what we want, given that you know, we're a farm. So um, Liam George, plants and machines. Perfect plants and plants okay this is looking good so we'll level you up and we will level up you and we'll level up the next person like that alexander cook because yeah again you say you're good at plants but you have no skill at working with plants which is a bit weird there we go lovely so more people coming in what have we got 176 people i think we are allowed now up to is it 300 i think we can have up to 300 people now can't we that was it 300 and then when we get to 300, we've got to do another bit of research to let us have up to 500 staff on our farm. My goodness me. <laughs> that is going to be huge. It's going to be a huge farm. And over here, yeah, this is going quite well. Six out of the 12 workers now over here in our little sort of house for seasonal employees over there. Okay, this is looking good. Things are looking good. Oh, and we've got things going on in the fields. I do like this. Oh, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Ah, Aha, we're getting the soya. The organic soya is going to be harvested. Look at that. There we go. There we go. You're just working on it with the fancy combines. This is all very exciting. So through you go, working on this. They're then going to put that into there. That gives us... Oh, hello. Autumn has come. This is harvest time for most crops and the last moments to work in the fields before the first frost sets in. Okay, no. Yep, noted. Thank you. Right, one thing we are going to do because the game has been recently updated, which I think possibly caused our weird power woes over there. And um, they've introduced irrigation into this new version of the game. So if we now click on, say, a field, over here, next to the sort of uh, watering icon, there is a little arrow that points upwards. It's not the most obvious of things, I will admit. It's a little bit of an obscure way to do this. But I think if we press that, it will do some sort of irrigating. And it'll irrigate this field. I mean, it's not so bad. These ones here are not so bad because they're outside. And right now it is pouring with rain. So it's not so bad, but it depends how much it is. So if we press this, what happens? Do you want to install an irrigation system for 18,720 monies? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Yay, it's irrigated. Right. Do we see any kind of visual? Is there any visual change on this? Can we see that it's irrigated? Are there pipes or anything running anywhere? No, it looks exactly the same, but now it just has a little icon there to show that it's irrigated. I mean, we are quite rich. We might as well go and do that. Oh, what's the problem? No warehouse for... Or, what was that? No warehouse for the organic grass? Um, hang on a minute. Where? What do you mean? We've got warehouses for organic grass, haven't we? I thought we had much in the way of warehouses for organic grass. Hang on a minute. Um... Oh, it's full. Ah, okay, right. Yes, that, that is a bit of an issue, isn't it? Um, could we fit a barn over here? 
Can we get a barn set up over there? It's a little bit distant, but it will do the job, I imagine. Um, can we get that in? It's a bit annoying, really, the barn, because those boxes on the right-hand side add an entire extra sort of size column or whatever it is. They make the barn just bigger. Can we not just take those boxes away? Just remove those boxes, maybe put them, I don't know, inside the barn, possibly. Tidy things up a little bit. And then the barn would be, what, four squares in width instead of five. That would make life a lot easier. So we can't fit that right there. Um, can we put the barn, can we fit this barn anywhere? It, can it fit there? Yes, it'll fit just there quite nicely. Okay, we'll have ourselves a barn. Hopefully that will be able to reach all the way down here. I'm not entirely convinced. I mean, it's you know, sort of useful anyway, but let's just see. Let's see how far that barn can reach because it needs to go down here because they have grass down here. They've got lots of grass. It's bearing fruit, but we can't do anything with it. We've actually got an awful lot of grass. <laughs> we possibly don't need that much grass. Right, so does that reach down? No, nowhere even near, nowhere near. Okay, right, Um, slight technical issue going on then. What we might need to do is, what we might need to do is, we might need to just bring a road across, say, I think we connect that up. Let's connect that road and that road up so people can drive around that way if it makes their lives a bit easier. And then over here, we'll have some more storage things. We'll have some warehouses, we'll have some barns, we'll have a bit of manure storage, all that kind of stuff. We'll just put that over there. I think that is probably going to be our best course of action. So let's run that down to there, say, for now. Run you down to there. Then we can see where they meet. So, okay, lovely. So the roads are now connected, which is good. And then down here, let's have, let's have a couple of barns just in case. We'll have one and two. And then we'll have ourselves another warehouse because why not? And then we'll have ourselves a manure storage thing just tucked next door. There we go, lovely. So that should sort this out. They seem to have found space for that all of a sudden. Have you found space for that? I don't know how you could have found space for that. But yeah, they're working on it now. That doesn't reach, does it? I'm fairly sure that didn't reach. Uh, no. Uh, okay. <laughs> They've found space for the grass. I don't know where it's going, but whatever the case, they have found space for it. Yay, that's good. Ah, power. Yes, we have no power. If only there was some means of getting some power to these buildings here. Hmm, what could we possibly, possibly use? I have no idea. Where can we get some power from? In fact, hang on. There's a transformer thing just there. I think they, I think the range of those has been, has been brought down quite considerably. Because I don't remember having to put in quite so many of those. I would have thought that one there would have covered all of this. That would have covered all of that absolutely fine. Are these not working? Are these not working? Because I thought they'd all have to be connected into the, to the power grid, but no, it seems not. It seems that they're all fine. I'm very confused with the new power stuff. What are they up to? Right, okay, how about then? We put one of the things just there. Yeah, they kind of snap to more of a grid now by the look of it. Yeah, they're way more gritty. And then connect that to there, move time on. That should be fine. That should be fine. Yay, there we go. <laughs> right, okay. Took a little while for the electricity to make its way around, that's fine. Okay. So now that is being harvested. Oh my goodness me, we're going to have so much stuff. Right, over here then, we've got... Are we still working on that? Hang on. No, I think they've just finished. I think now we have a great big truck full of soya, which is very exciting. So let's have a little look at how much of that we have. That tractor is just driving around. <laughs> they don't know where to go. They're very confused. There's, there's all sorts of warehouses. Ah, they went to the silo. Okay, so how much do we have? 55,951 kilograms of organic soya. That seems like quite a lot. That seems like an awful lot of stuff. Okay, that's good. We might need... Is it worth doing it now? I'm not entirely sure it's worth doing it now. We might need to um, get some more sunflower fields in. Because yes, we have a great big one and a little one, but we still go through them at a very rapid rate indeed. Carrots seem to be fine. The carrot juice fat is now operating quite well. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, it's the um, the sunflowers. We're going through those very quickly indeed. Okay, right, we need to look at that. Ah, and we're getting something. What are they putting into here? Ah, fodder beets are going back into there. And that is, they're plowing the carrot field. And over here, what are you doing? You're spraying the corn field. We've got so much stuff. 
So much stuff on the way. I think we're going to get wheat in one day. Oats in 17 days. We have got an awful lot of grass. I don't know if we necessarily need that much grass anymore. So maybe we change out one of these fields. Maybe over winter we'll change one of these fields to be something else. Because, yes, we have an awful lot of grass now. Loads of fodder beets coming in. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. I like the fields. I do like the fields. Sorry, animals. Yeah, I, I like you as well. You're all wonderful things. But, yeah, the fields, I do like these. And they look nice as well. They look wonderful. Not to say the animals aren't brilliant too. So we've seen we can irrigate the outside fields. And we might as well just go and do that. We might as well irrigate all of the fields. It just saves a job, doesn't it? They're constantly always watered and they're never going to get dry or whatever. So we might as well do that. Can we irrigate the greenhouses? Because that will save a job for everybody. Because, yeah, when it's outside, when it's in the big fields, they can get a tractor. You can get in a tractor, sit in it, attach a big load of water and a big tank to the back and just drive around the place. Whereas in the greenhouses, they have to do that by hand. They have to go around the place with a watering can or a hose or whatever and then, you know, water the stuff. So if we can irrigate all this, that would save quite a bit of time. It's two and a half grand. Yes, absolutely. Install irrigation on everything. Can we just have it on by default, please? Because... It makes life a lot easier. There, there we go. Hang on. And in that one, yes, just constantly have water. And you. And that one there. There we go. Right, so all the greenhouses are now fully irrigated. I mean, let's do these anyway. I know these are a bit more expensive, but we've got... What have we got? Almost 16 million farm manager monies now, so that's quite nice. So here we go. Yes. And yes to that. And yes to this one. Right, how much is it for that? A hundred grand. For one of the big fields. Yeah, why not? Do it. We've got loads of money. Yes, please. Right, irrigate all those. I mean, I'm aware that it's raining. There's a certain <laughs> level of pointlessness to what I'm doing now by, you know, irrigating loads of fields when it's pouring with rain, but I'm sure it's fine. Right, irrigate that and irrigate that. So irrigate the little fields for the bees. And then, yeah, just, just all of them. Because why not? And we can afford it. So yes to that one. And then we have the big fields. So irrigate that and irrigate that one. These are, are they still? That's 76 grand. Oh, because they're a bit smaller. These ones are a little bit smaller, aren't they? These are the big ones. So 100 grand for the big fields. But again, it's all fine. It's all fine. We've got still over 15 million. We might just dip below it now. 14.9, and there we go, 14.8. So we're just short of 15 million farm manager monies again, but we have just irrigated every single one of our fields at great expense. There we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, more people. More people over here. More cows are required. So have we got people good at dealing with animals? Yes, we have. Um, yeah, you're all sort of multi-skilled, but that's fine. Yes, yes, yes. In you all come. And that fills that house up, I believe. So, okay, so manufacturing and animals. Didn't need to do manufacturing. It's fine. It's a welcome gift. Um, animals, yeah. Do you know what? Orchards as well. Why not? Just become skilled at everything. It's all fine. And then you... I mean, Harrison and Edward here look very, very similar, but okay. Endurance and animals. And so that one's full. That one's full. That one's full. That one's full. This one isn't full. So let's assign two more people to that. So how about, um, I don't know, Harrison and Marley Blake. There you go. And then over here, we will have Edward. So you can go over there. And then you need something to do to have a load of cows and make sure they are eating organic food. And there we go. So now we've only got two more two more cow sheds to properly fill up. This one here will get a load of cows. We need some more people, of course, to work in it. But yeah, I still don't know how often this refreshes. But yeah, we're now onto the third house over here, which is all very good. I like this. Ah, here we go. Already three people good at dealing with animals. Yes, yes, yes. In you come, you lot. Right, animals, yes, please. And animals, yes, please. And endurance. Yes, Lexi, you're very hardy. That's good. And Ezra, hardy. Okay, that was weird. Right, okay, you can be good at animals. And do you know what? Because I like bees, you can be good at working with bees. You're not going to be working with bees, but you can know all about it because bees are brilliant. Okay, and then, yes, this one here. So you and where's Bee Man? Bee Man, there you go, Bee Guy. You can go into there. And then... Uh, get a load of cows, please. They are using organic food. Bob, Bob, Bob. And that can be Lexi Goodwin. Okay. So now we just need, what, three, two, so we need five more people. Five more people. And all of the great big cow sheds over here will be fully staffed. And they will be fully 
cowed? Uh, is that is that the phrase? I don't think that's the phrase, but whatever the case, they'll have all of the cows in them that they are allowed to have. I don't think fully cowed is a phrase. Right, now we can look at this. Now we can take a look at all of our wonderful, wonderful, I mean, yeah, they're called dairy factories. What are they? Are they milk processing plants or something? I think that's what they're called, aren't they? Milk processing plants. Dairy factories, essentially. Dairy faz. So I think what we should do is we should just make a few changes around the back here. So let us get rid of all of this road that's going along here. Let's be sure, be careful not to actually delete the factories in any way, because that would be unfortunate. So there we go. Delete that, delete that, delete that, and then get a regular road. Bring that all the way to there. And then we can just have factories backing onto it. In fact, do we need, we don't even need a road just there because if the factories are backing onto it, then no, we don't need that road page. Why did we just build that road? That This is a superfluous road. And now it's made it more dangerous that I might delete the, <laughs> that I might delete the factories. Okay, right, hang on. Be super careful with this. Oh no, but there is a road coming through there. That's fine. We'll, we'll just add more road on. It's fine. Right. Oh no. Now I need to be really careful. Don't delete a factory by accident because I don't think it asks you if you want to. It will just destroy the entire factory. One misclick can bring down an entire building. Right. Here we go. Milk processing plants. So uh, yeah, we'll have one of them uh, there then. So yes, please. And again, these are very expensive, but because we have so much money, we can just place these down however we like. So there we go. And then we have that one. And then we will have that one there. Wonderful stuff. <laughs> I thought that we can just do that and just afford it. Oh no, we've only got 14 million monies left now. My goodness, what are we going to do? Right, okay. So that can go there. That can go along like that. Then, oh, hang on, I've put an extra bit of road there. Never mind, it's all fine. Free bit of road, everybody. Uh, that can go down to there. And then what do we want to do here? Possibly some sort of warehouse, maybe, just there. That might be quite good. Joe, you know we could do with over there. We could have another one of those logistics buildings. That would be good. That might help things along a little bit. Where are they? They're in, they're in others. Also, does the vet reach that far? Where is the vet? The vet, ah, we might need another vet over here as well to cover those, those cows there. So let's have ourselves over here. Let's have a logistics building there. And let's have a vet next door. There we go. Vet, you can slot in quite nicely just there. Wonderful. Okay, so that's looking good. And then, yeah, over here, do we get ourselves, I think maybe a warehouse or two. That might be quite helpful. Can we get two? That would be useful. I was kind of hoping that maybe we could fit them in. Hang on, hang on. That could go along the road there. And then we could have, I mean, the road would be a weird shape, but we could have that kind of cutting into there like that. And the road would kind of, it, it's a weird road. It's fine. It's like, it's like that. It's all good. There we go. So two extra bits of storage over there as well. Okay, that is very good. And then we have ourselves this bit of space here. There's a little bit of space over here in the middle where we can't do anything. How about we have some lovely decorative items? We have got these fences. We've not used fences yet. Why don't we make a little, a little sort of wonderful fenced off area? Kind of in the middle, hang on. How about we have a fence there and one there and one there and one there. One there, one there, one there. Bring it down like that, like that. And then have a bit Coming out the, like that look, we'll have a sort of nice fenced off area. That's quite nice. And then we'll just fill that with lovely things. In fact, can we put a tree in there? No, we can't put a tree in there. Way too ambitious. Very silly of me. Um, okay, so flowers boxes. Let's just put flowers boxes in there. That's nice. And then, oh, there's no power. Ah, okay, hang on. Wait there, game. Wait there. I'm, I'm doing decorative items. It's very important. So decorative, 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 and decorative. There you go. That's okay. Do you know what? It needs more. It needs more. Then we'll have purple, 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 purple. And then we'll have the kind of pinky red ones like that. They can just go in the middle like that, actually. There we go. A nice little sort of nice little garden. That's all very wonderful. Right. Okay. We need to sort out some power around here because this is not going to work. So how about, hang on, where are the nearest power line things down here? Just there. So we might have to bring the power across there, down here and across that. That's a bit of a faff, isn't it? That's a bit of a faff. Ah, 
could we bring some power down the side here? Yeah, can we connect that up to there, please? So run that on. So that now has power, which is good. And then bring that all the way down to that corner there. Yeah, they snap. It snaps now. It snaps to the corners. So that must have been what happened over there. It must have moved everything to the nearest corner and then it messed up the connections or whatever. Um, and then another one of these, another Transformer robot in disguise all the way, all the way down there. Thank you, game. And then connect that up to there. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so that's that all sorted. Are they, are they covered? Are they working? Uh, yes. Oh, they have multiple connections. Okay, that's all fine. There we go. Good stuff, everybody. Right, it's all in. It's all fine. We need to wait for the factories to, to go in. It's for the FAS to go in. Um, okay, this is good. So we need to wait for those. Uh, research. We're not doing any research. That seems like a bit of a wasted opportunity, doesn't it? Um, what can we do? What can we do? How long have we got until winter? 68 days. So we could try and do some quick research, or we could do one of the big ones and then just run into winter a little bit and then start another one of those. So what have we got? Uh, rate of production up, always useful. Storage capacity going up. Now, once upon a time, we scoffed at this. We laughed and said, haha, we have loads of storage. But as we've seen, we're kind of using it up now. The big fields are producing quite a lot of stuff. So maybe that could be useful. It's only 30 days. It's 11 grand, which is neither here nor there. But yeah, an extra 10% on top of what we've already got. Okay, that's quite, that's quite interesting. Uh, the strength regeneration for seasonal workers, though. We have those now. That's only 14 days and it's three grand. I'm thinking we get that. That's, yeah, let's do that. That's nice and simple. Get that done. And that means that our seasonal workers can just, you know, go out and work significantly more. They're going to get their strength back 15% quicker, which means they can go out there and do more stuff. And all of the milk processing plants or the dairy factories or the dairy fads, whatever we want to call them, they're all done. They are all in. So now we have ourselves an additional, what was it, five? An additional five factories over here. That looks very good indeed. Look at that. It's a proper industrial hub over here now. Got lots of classic farming going on over there and over here with all the fields. But then over here, yes, this is kind of, this is the heart of industry over here. This is very exciting indeed. So what we need now is we need some workers. We need some workers. But what I'm thinking is we need to kind of plan ahead a little bit for this. Because I think... I think we could have another 10 factories over here. We could have another 10 milk processing plants, which is a boring name for it, but we could have another 10 of those over here, which would be wonderful. So that would make 20, 20 milk processing plants, 20 dairy fads all the way over here, making so much cheese and butter and all the other bits and bobs. I think that's what we should do. So let's try and plan ahead with that in mind, because we are going to need quite a lot of worker houses to, you know, make sure that all these factories have somebody in there jabbing the buttons and such. So let's get paved road. Let's extend that going up there. Because what I'm thinking is, yeah, if we build the factories in here, then the workers could live in houses that go along the side. We could have another warehouse or two on this end as well. That'd be helpful. And then over here, we've got this weird little indented bit. Do you know what? That's not really ideal, is it? That's not really ideal. We kind of want that to be, do you know what? We're going to readjust this. We're going to rework this. Tiny bit of remodeling coming in. So how about you just clear off for a bit and we sort that out and we sort that out. We take that out for now. It's all fine. We'll put another one in. Yes, I know they've got no power game. It's all fine. So drag that. Not like that though, game. <laughs> not, like, not, not like that. No, no. Like that. There we go. Wonderful. And then get the transformer uh, robot and just goes back into there. Wonderful. And now... We build, where is it? So warehouse, we put that on the corner. There we go, lovely, that's better. And then yes, we can have whatever we like here. We've got plenty of orchards, plus we have all of this space over here. We can have an awful lot of orchards. In fact, we can have that full of orchards. We can have that growing fruit. We'll have a little bit in the middle where they keep all the equipment. But yeah, I think that's the plan. So that can be the extent of those orchards for now. So yeah, how about then over here? We have ourselves, where are they? So worker houses. How many more workers will we need? So they have, they have three and don't they? Four. Okay, so that requires one worker house. That requires two worker houses. So we need three right now to cover those factories that we have set up at the moment. So we'll have uh, one and two. And then over here we'll have a third. 
Um, yeah, let's put that there. That's fine. So we'll have a third one just there. Let's get a fourth one in and a fifth one. Let's have three on each side. This is quite a big, it's quite a big project, this. And then have ourselves over here a warehouse as well. Pop a warehouse in. There we go. Okay, right. Now we need to move time on. Let's see. Now, how much cow's milk do we actually have? A hundred and... <laughs> We've got... <laughs> That seems like quite a lot of cow's milk. Is that now 105,000 litres of the stuff? We can make an ocean. We can make an ocean with it. The organic cow milk lake. Um, okay, that seems like quite a lot. Possibly we don't really need that much. So I think we need to set up some auto selling stuff. But I mean, yeah, even with even with 20 factories, I don't think we're going to go to that. It's already up to 108,000. We've added another three. That is constantly ticking up. <laughs> it's almost like the cows are constantly producing milk. 170. <laughs> that that is that's very silly indeed. Okay, right. So worker houses are all in. Warehouses in. Now we need to decide what we want to do. So I mean, just that organic cow cheese. Yes. Let's have two of those. So two organic cow cheese factories. Then over here, how about two of the yellow? So organic yellow cow cheese factories. I did pick organic there, didn't I? Yeah, it's the bio stuff. And then over here, let's have... Um, I mean, yeah, we can't do this stuff because that's the goat cheese and that's the sheep cheese. And I think we're pushing our limits on that. Also, the organic sheep cheese. Oh, no, that is the most profitable. 169 grand you get from that per month. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Um, let's make lovely organic butter over there. There we go. Splendid. Right now... Now we just need a lot of employees. Oh, we've still not sorted out all the cows. We've still got actual space left. Right, hang on. Because there is... Oh, yeah, she's, she's probably a little bit overworked. Lexi's probably quite stressed out right now. Hang on a second. Let's, um, let's hire some more people that are good at working with animals. All of one person. Okay, fine. Better than nobody. Right, so you go in. We'll employ you to there. There you go. You've got some help. That's nice. Right. Down here. Let's get some people working down here. So, who is good at working with machines? absolutely nobody brilliant <laughs> oh good thanks game thanks game that's that's wonderful that's brilliant yay look at this massive project can anybody work here no okay right well that sorted that out then okay never mind never mind we'll we'll wait a little while we'll wait a little while what we could do is how much maintenance do we pay on that 941 per month what i'm thinking is do we just get the other buildings in it's a grand let's round it up to a grand so one two three four five so we'd be paying 10 grand a month on all the extra buildings that we make if we were just to put them in place, not have anybody working in them if they were just sort of there, sitting there idle. I think we can afford that. I think we just get the extra buildings in. I think that sounds like a good plan. Um, can we actually, where's the two-way road? Ooh, can we upgrade that to a two-way road? How's that going to deal with the power? Um, oh, it's, oh, okay, right. It's gone a bit weird. It's gone a little bit strange, has that road. Okay, right, hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, yeah, that's... Yeah, it doesn't like that, does it? It didn't like that at all. I know it's got no road game. It's fine. It's fine. Um, yeah, can we have that going that way now? That's much better. Because, yeah, that's going to be quite busy going through there. Okay, what we'll do is let's just... Let's demolish all those bits which didn't work. Don't demolish the factories. Be very careful. Okay, right, hang on. Let me just go and delete this road. Okay, road removed. Now let's get the two-way road in. Um, okay, it might look a little bit weird down there. There might be an odd junction down there, but that's fine. Right, and bring that all the way down to, say, there. That should move the electricity things around a bit where it has to. There's a slightly weird kind of junction thing going on here. That's all fine. It's okay. There we go. So now that road can be a little bit busier. That can have more traffic going through on it. Okay, that's good. And now, yeah, I just think we just get the factories in. Let's just build these. Let's have a massive, great, big kind of hub of industry over here. So, yes, we'll have one factory. Hang on. Can we look right down upon, from, upon high? So, we'll have one and two and three. And then have that one there and that one there. Yeah, we can't fit one there, unfortunately. But never mind. That gives us room for other things down here. We could have another logistics center or something. And then rotate that round and have one there and one there, one there. One there, one there. This is all very good. I do like this. Right, and then down to there. Bring those roads through the middle. Bring that road through the middle as well. Bring that up like that. Right now, can we have another one of the two-way roads? Yes, we can. 
we can have another one of those coming through. So yeah, okay, we'll delete those little bits that are sticking out and we will just have a two-way road going all the way along to ah uh, there. And there might have to be a slightly weird junk. Oh no, hang on. Slightly weird junction thing across there, but that's fine. There we go. Oh my goodness me. That is going to look wonderful when it's in. Right, can we employ anybody at all? Is anybody good at working with machines? There must be somebody. Manufacturing, yes. Okay, you, Molly Spencer, you're in. Um, Eva is good at animals and manufacturing. That seems a bit mean game. Is she the only person that can do both those things? The things that we want, there is one person. Okay. <laughs> I mean, she's better at working with animals. Hang on a minute. Let's um, let's let's level you up a bit. There we go. Um, right, you can go and work over there, Molly, whatever your name was. Molly Spencer, you go and work in that factory, all on your lonesome right now. I do apologise. We'll try and get you some help. Um, and then over here, what have we got? We need four more people. Animals. There's one person. Yes, all right, in you come. <laughs> Seems a little bit, it's a little bit harsh game. Um, and yeah, you can go into there. So now we just need three more people that are good at working with animals and then an awful lot of people that are good at working with um, with machines. Because yes, we don't have hardly anybody anymore that works with machines because yeah, we're just not getting those people applying for jobs here, which is a shame. But all the, look at that. We're going to need a lot of people working with machines. There's an awful lot of building going and lots of people doing the roof dance. It's all very good. Okay, so they will all be in very soon indeed. What's that whinging about? Um... We've got no staff, no no warehouse for the organic oats. Oh, really? Are we full already? Hang on. No, the oats. Hang on. The oats will need uh, one of these, won't they? Oh, the silos are full. Okay, hang on. Silos. Let's just get a load of silos in. That's going to be fine. Um, where can we put these? Where can we put these? How about over here? Can we put them over here in our new... Sort of our new little sort of uh, area over here. Is that going to help? There's a couple of them over there. Is that any use? Um, I don't know if that reaches. Uh, we'll wait till they're constructed and we will see. Is that the... That's the oat just there. That should be fine. That should be fine. That should be near enough. I think. Maybe. Possibly. Oh, look, they've got proper bales of hay. It's a, a proper farming is happening, everybody. This is beautiful. There we go. They're using a little sort of... Sort of... Uh, Whatever it is, bale making machine thingamajig. Okay. Is that enough? Oh my goodness me. What is going on? No electricity. No electricity. Assign staff. No electricity. Yes, all right. That's fine. Is this field sorted? Yes, it is. Ah, no power over here. Of course there isn't. Okay, let's get that in. Let's get some power in. Right, transformers. Let's just have them going across this side again. It's all good. We'll work this out. So where's the power there? So it can come onto the inside. In fact, let's have it there. So pop that there. Connect that down to there. And then let's have one of them on that junction. Connecting up to there. And then one of them, I don't know, in the middle there or something. Is there one there? Yeah, it's about there-ish, isn't it? So connect that game. Connect that up. There we go. And then... Have one of them going over here on this corner, possibly. Going through to just there. Okay, that's good. And there we've got power as well. They're all powered up. Yeah, okay, so that should be everything powered again now. It looks like that should have sorted that out. Yeah, it's just waiting for workers now. Okay, good. One last quick check. Let's see if there is anybody good at working with animals. One person. Freya. Okay, in you come, Freya. We need some more, really, but okay. And this means that we can get the last of the cow sheds stocked up with cows and food and everything else. And Freya, you can go and work in there. So that's quite good. And then down here, do we have anybody that can work with machines? We've got three people. You're quite expensive, but it doesn't really matter. Yes, yes, and yes. All three of you can come in. Uh, manufacturing, yes, please manufacturing yes please Do you know what we'll up your machines as well because we're nice like that and manufacturing and then you can all go and work in here so it's the bottom three people isn't it? so you and you and you just there so that's one of our factories now fully up and running we've only got another 
What's that? 10, 11, 12, and you've got another 14 to sort out. I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll get there soon. And our training is done, so our seasonal workers now just get their strength back a little bit quicker, which is very good. So let's kick some of the training off. Let's get some more training going. I'm thinking this one, storage capacity. We've kind of completed that block. That block of training there is done. We're doing quite well with our training. It's the ones down here. It's the ones down here that are quite lengthy and relatively expensive. I mean, 30 days is the quickest ones. Um, I mean, do we just want to get one of those in? Increase the honey harvest. These are 60 days. Hang on, how long until, how long until winter? 54 days. Okay, do you know what? That's probably not a bad idea. Something that takes 60 days. That's okay. So what have we got? We could get the chickens uh, reproducing quicker or the third level of the building for pigs, or we could do both of these. We could get the probability of fungi occurrences down by 10% and insect infestations down by 10% because together they're two 30 day kind of research things. Or we could get more honey or we could get more fruit harvest. That's quite good. Maybe we get more fruit harvest because we make an awful lot of money from our fruit and we have two massive gigantic orchards. Let's get that. Let's get that. Oh, oh no, but should we get these? Because we have a lot of fields as well. And it's really annoying if they get, you know, horrible fungus infestations and loads of insects on them. Um, let's do... I mean, that'll get us more money. But we're, we're not short of a few quid. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's stop the inconvenience of these things happening on our fields. So let's say... I don't know. What's worse? Mushrooms or insects? I know. We'll do the top one. That'll do. Okay. Wonderful. So that will take its time. But yeah, we'll do the next one. And then when they're both done, it will be winter. And then we'll start one of the bigger research things going. Then we'll skip winter. And then we'll come back in the spring and it'll all be fine. So there we go. Wonderful stuff. Oh, I like this. It's going very nicely indeed. Everything is irrigated as well, which looks wonderful. And this, I like this. I like this. This looks very good. You doing proper farm work. There's bales of hay now. Wonderful bales of hay everywhere. Um, so yeah, what have we got? We've now got... 169,000 litres of cow's milk, 231,000 kilograms of grass is that, um, loads of carrots, but yeah, sunflower's still lacking a little bit, so we need to look at that. So what I think we'll do is, we will finish up for now, because we've done some good work over here, we've done some good work over here, we've repaired all our power connections as well, because they went a little bit wobbly, but it's fine. So yes, this is looking good over here, we need to make sure that we have everybody working over here, we've nearly... We've nearly got everybody working over here. Hang on. Hang on. Can we do one last quick check? Animals. <gasps> yes. Animals. And you're fully skilled. And animals. Lewis White. In you come. And we'll keep the manufacturing lady for the other jobs across the other side. Here we go. Hang on. Oh, no. You're fine. You're good. You're good at animals. Uh, so, uh, Lewis White. Make you better at animals. You go and work over here. And you. And there we go. All of our large cow sheds are now fully staffed, which is excellent stuff. So they're going to be making the most milk that they can. And we're making a lot of it. We possibly do need to sell some of that and maybe some of our grass as well. Because I know the cows eat the grass. I don't know if they're going to eat 231,000 kilograms of the stuff. That seems like quite a lot. But yeah, we'll look at that next time out, I think. We've got plenty to do. But um, yeah, this here is going to be quite a big project. This is going to be a big thing. And then I think, yeah, we need to get more fields. I think we get more fields in. Or maybe next time, do we concentrate on orchards? Maybe we get an awful lot of orchards set up over here. And then over here, maybe, round in this part of the farm, we could have some factories that actually process fruit and such like. We could get some apple juice and whatever else, orange juice and such like. That might be quite nice as well. So a lot to think of, a lot to think of. There are a great many things that we could do on the farm. There are lots of things that we haven't got yet. There are many production buildings we haven't got. We haven't got a fruit processing plant. We've not got a slaughterhouse. We've not got a mill. So we could get a mill in and start making flour and such like. So yeah, plenty for us to do, but we'll look at all that kind of stuff next time out. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Farm Manager 2021. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Right, if we connect to there and open the door, we're going to get vaporized by this laser. And there's an electronic thing, which looks like a sad kind of Game Boy. <laughs> I'm a tiny little sort of sort of stick person in a, in a computer. I can't steer the train as such. 
And look, we are outside and we're in a gutter. Oh, happy days. Hello, Leaf. 